You are listening to the Call to Action Podcast, where we aim to inspire, educate, and inform entrepreneurs and self-starters on tech and tips related to navigating this ever-changing world. Thank you for tuning in to episode 26 of the Call to Action Podcast. I am your host, Shantae. And on today's show, I'm going to share some information on how to provide engaging, touchless content. But before I get to the topic for today's show, I have an inspirational quote that I'd like to share. And it is from L. M. Montgomery. And so here we go. Here's the inspirational quote for episode 26 of the Call to Action podcast. Isn't it nice? to think that tomorrow is a new day with no mistakes in it yet? Let me read that one more time. Isn't it nice to think that tomorrow is a new day with no mistakes in it yet? All right, I'm just going to let that one sink in. I I like that one. I think I picked some really good quotes for my podcast, guys. I'm just not bragging here, but this was a good one. Again, that was from L. M. Montgomery. If you missed episode 25 of the Call to Action podcast, as always, it is a must listen. In that podcast, I share information on marketing, but from a consumer's perspective, I shared a personal experience in that podcast that I think that anyone can learn from. And if you have not listened to it, make sure to go and check it out. After listening to this podcast, you can listen to the full podcast on ctamarketing.biz, but listen to this clip to hear some of what was shared in episode 25. It had a good price, it had good features, but there were no reviews and there was nothing else on it. So I said, okay, let me look other places. So I look on social media. There was not enough out there. So I went to YouTube and bingo, I did find some information out there, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So what ended up happening was I did not get that product because... So head on over to ctamarketing.biz to listen to the complete episode. Once you're there, click on podcasts on the main menu and you will see that one listed as well as the previous podcasts that I have done on ctamarketing.biz. So today's topic is about providing touchless content providing engaging and useful touchless content to consumers. And here's the problem. Actually, I've identified three problems. The one is the cost of printing. Printing is very expensive. And especially if you're printing something that you've identified that maybe you don't have to print so many of. (laughs) So I'm going to share some ways to help cut that cost. And then also having the patience and the concern of consumers in mind. This is something new that people are dealing with. Um, It's no secret. Um, I don't have to mention it here, but you all know what I'm talking about. So people are concerned right now. So what I'm providing, actually, this tip that I'm sharing in this podcast is something that's going to help out with that. And number three, let's save the trees, guys. Come on. There's a lot of cutting down. And uh, I did some research on that. And I was really surprised at how many trees are being cut down just to print papers newspapers, magazines, just paper in general. And then when you look at how much is wasted, wow, it's a lot. So I'm actually excited about the solution I'm providing to you all today. And I'm hoping that you really think about it and take it into consideration. So I did some research on just for small business printing, and I got this information from rjyoung.com. They had a blog posted and they shared these stats. And I'm taking these right from their blog. Again, it's 
rjyoung.com. So this is about small business printing, and this is what they stated on their website. In average, or the average number of times a document is copied or printed is 19 times. Yes, people, that's a lot. That, that can definitely be cut down, especially with what I'm going to present today. The average worker prints 10,000 sheets. 21% of printouts are thrown away. That's a lot, guys. Come on, you're talking about reprinting something 19 times and then 21% potentially of the printouts that are done are thrown away. And then 44% of printing is avoidable or unnecessary. Let's keep all this in mind as we go through and listen to this podcast. So I also went to another resource. This is from the University of Southern Indiana, and this is also on their site. They had a page about recycling, and I thought this was interesting as well. So some things they noted on their site was that if all of our newspapers was recycled, that we could save about 250 million trees each year. And... Also, it states that each ton, 2,000 pounds of recycled paper, can save 17 trees, 380 gallons of oil, 3 cubic yards of landfill space, 4,000 kilowatts of energy, and 7,000 gallons of water. Oh my gosh, I never even looked at it like this. You don't even realize how much resources are being used on paper. This is amazing. Um, Okay, and then also, here's the last one. Americans use 85 million tons of paper a year, which is about 680 pounds per person. Guys, that's a lot of paper. So I, wow, this just really made me think. So this is what I'm proposing to you all as entrepreneurs and business owners, even home business owners, we can all make a difference. Everyone can. And so this is what I'm proposing to you all to at least think about. So I know you all are familiar with quick response codes, which are also known as QR codes. So what QR codes are used for is for bridging offline content to online content. Now, keeping this in mind, for example, let's look at a restaurant. Restaurants print menus. And the way that a QR code could be used would be to lead consumers or customers to the content that you want to provide. In this case, at a restaurant, it would be a menu. So you could have, or the restaurant owner could have a poster that's posted at the venue that the consumers can scan with their smartphone to instantly access the menu. That would save on printing costs. And the cool thing about QR codes, it doesn't cost anything to create them. More than likely, you already have a website. So looking at this, what I'm saying is that you could have a poster, for example, have a QR code that leads directly to your menu. So now you're able to cut the cost of your printing. So just imagine this. If you were to print a menu for every table that you have at your restaurant, um, you could cut that down um, because you're probably not just going to print one menu per table because you're going to have people that's waiting in line. You're going to have menus at the entrance where people are checking in or doing reservations. So just think about how many menus that you print. So instead of printing multiple menus, you could cut your printing costs, I'm sure, in half by printing maybe a few posters that you have at the entrance that even passersby can scan with their smartphone to access your menu. Think about the time that everyone saves. Think about the time that the consumer saves. Now they are accessing the menu. They can look right then and there at your menu. You can include images, video. You can provide a really rich experience for them, something that they otherwise would not get 
from a printed menu. That's a great benefit. Plus, you're going to save money on the cost of printing. And then also, people are going to be able to access that touchless content, but it has value and they're only using their phones. So you have to worry about wiping down the menus um, and just sanitizing the menus. Now they're using their phone. They don't have to touch anything. They just point their smartphone at the QR code, access your menu and like magic one is happy. So I just really like this idea and I've just been thinking about it and I wanted to share it with you all. And I hope that you found this useful. There's other ways that you can use QR codes as well. And I've done podcasts on this. So go back and check it out on my site at ctamarketing.biz. There's like chock full of really good, valuable information. And it's all 15 minutes or less, guys, unless I have a guest. So make sure you go and check that out. But here's just a few more items I've identified that you can do with that. So Even if it's not a restaurant, it might just be just your business in general. It's just some information you want to provide to consumers like in just a really quick way. So it could be a contact form. You could have a way for them to leave a rating on your business or the service that they receive. You can also allow them to check in. If there's a reservation, they could scan the QR code and check in at a restaurant or at a massage parlor or at a salon, even for businesses that are doing curbside pickup. This is great because now they could have the QR code printed on the sign. It could be a check-in where the customer scans it and it notifies someone inside that you're there to pick up your order. So, I mean, just think of the ways that this could be done. So I hope that you found this information helpful. I thought this was an awesome idea. And so anyway, I'm done for today. And this concludes today's episodes of the Call to Action podcast. And remember, isn't it nice to think that tomorrow is a new day with no mistakes in it yet? Thank you for listening. And until next time. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Call to Action podcast. Make sure to visit me at ctamarketing.biz. There you can find articles for entrepreneurs and self-starters on tech and tips related to navigating this ever-changing world. Until next time.